Are you ready to unlock the potential of cryptocurrency trading by mastering volatility? In this video, we are going to dive into the three essential tools for analyzing market volatility. VIXFIX, BVOL 24 hours or 7 days and ATR. Once I'm done with that, I will also show you a small strategy I have developed that combines these elements to maximize your trading performance. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader, this video will help you understand how to use volatility to your advantage. So let's get started. Let's begin with the VIX fix. This indicator is a variation of the traditional VIX but designed for Bitcoin and other assets. Essentially, VIX fix is a fear and greed index. It measures the volatility based on price movements and helps traders predict market reversals. In this case, it was created by Larry Williams in 2007 with this formula, which tends to replicate the VIX, which we have for the SP500. So the difference compared to the VIX from the SP500 is that this one can be adapted to any market like oil, cryptocurrency, commodities, gold, stocks, and so on. While the normal VIX, the volatility index, it can be only adapted to the SP500 movement. It's a way at least here if you are going to use it directly, which in this case, for example, you should make use of the percentile. But for now, I'm not going to enter into that. But for some other videos, we are going to check them. You can also see it here on the chart, you know, replicated. We are using the same formula explained like, uh, like in the chart before taking the highest value between the close and the low divided by the highest value of the close with a length of 22 candles. Why 22? I don't know, but it seems like this is the one that is the smoothest and replicates the most, you know, the VIX. I would say 22 because in, turn, in general, they tend to take the average days which there are in a month for the stock market. So more or less they came up with that number. He came up with that number from there. The way to use it is that, for example, you can see, we can see, like in this case here as well, when the VIX fix spikes, it's only, it's usually indicates that the market is experiencing extreme fear, signaling potential buy opportunities in oversold condition. At the other end, on the low, when, when a low VIX arrives, it's going to suggest calm markets often followed by less volatility. And we can see in this situation, for example, excluding the year 21 and 2022, because they were highly bearish. For example, in this case, we can see that when we have a period of low volatility, like in this scenario, we started to have, you know, the bullish season. And then, for example, the peak of it, you know, when we reach the peak, it would indicate as well that it would be a good moment to start, you know, the, the bullish trend. And at the same time, we can see both in this situation or... So in this situation here as well, that when the VIX fix is starting, you know, to climb, it's going to be, you know, potential bearish momentum. So, yeah, at the same time, another tool which we have in this case is going to be the BVOL 7 days. The BVOL 7 days, it's the BitMEX weekly historical Bitcoin volatility index. And this index is going to tell us how is the volatility going to be over a period of seven days. So let's take, for example, in this case, like uh, we have this number. So it's telling us that there is a high probability that within the next week, the, volat the Bitcoin asset is going to make less than 13% upwards or 13% downwards. This is one standard deviation and it tends to be close to 75% of the times correct. So 75% of the time, when we are going to see this value, it means that the market, one week from the moment we are reading it, is going to be compressed within the bottom and the top created with those values. So at the same time, we can read it the same way we do it with the VIX. So when the BVOL 7 days is going to be high, it's going to tell us that the Bitcoin has experienced large swings over the period over the past week, and it's going to indicate a volatility environment. This can be particularly useful when trying to time larger moves in the market. And we can see that most of the times it's uh, follow quite precisely 
but it's also smoother than, than the VIX fix, but it's showing very similar patterns within the climbing and declining, you know, of the of the volatility, making them, you know, based on certain scenarios, one more accurate than the other. And lastly, we are going to have the average true range, the ATR, which in this case it indicates the measurement of how much the price moves over a specific period. In this case, we are using the default value, which is going to be 14 candles. And this ATR is going to help us confirm whether the market is in a high or a low volatility phase. I would say of them all, it's uh, the most used and the most known, but at the same time, I would say is the weakest for this purpose of the volatility. However, at the same time, I would say it's a very good instead uh, risk management tool in order to calculate proper take profit and stop loss points based, you know, on the current uh, ATR which we have. So for this reason, I created a small volatility strategy adapted for the crypto market environment, which we are going to see here. And we are going to have for these strategies, uh, these um, indicators. So we are going to make use of the correlation value. So we are going to take into calculation the Bitcoin values for the, for the, for the main logic. We are going to apply the VIX fix internally. We are going to also apply the Bitcoin volatility seven days. And at the same time, I have applied uh, exponential moving averages of a length of 50 candles in order to help us filter better the direction of the trades. So the rule is quite simple. We can see that in this case, we are checking that the values of the volatilities are ascending. So in this case, I want the VIX fix to go higher than the previous value. At the same time, I want the B wall seven days to be higher than the previous week value. And lastly, I want the close of a candle to be above the exponential moving average with a length of 50. And we are going to exit when the close of the candle is going to be below the exponential movement of 50 length. So we can see this scenario right here. And for example, this trade, we can see that we are going to be above the moving average. We can see that these parts of here, the values, they started to rise. You know, it's, this one is bigger than this one, and this one overall is bigger than this one. And we can see that immediately as soon as we reach below the moving averages, we exit from the trade. And we can see from the this automation uh, performance that we reach quite respectable uh, values in this situation. We are going to have 1.2 thousand percent profit from 2020. The reason behind it is that from 2020, this asset ticker it became you know more accurate and more uh, powerful. At the same time, we also started to have more volume and uh, institutional adopt. Of, of the crypto market. So we can see that overall for the last four years, well, close to five now, we beat the buy and hold by close to 50%, I would say, a bit more than 50%. And yeah, we have, we had 27 trades, close to 50%, the, probab the probability of uh, being profitable. But the difference is that you can see that on average, we are winning 45, but we are losing 5%, which is making a very, very nice, beautiful ratio of average win and average loss. At the same time, we can see using the same strategy, if we are going to test, for example, with another asset like the Ethereum USD, we can see the same situation. We would make a total of 2.8,000%. So in this case, if you would have $1,000 in 2020, you would have $20,000 nowadays compared to 15,000 dollars which you would have if you would just hold this uh, this value we can check with another asset like for example in this case the xrp usd we can see the same situation and we can see that in this case it performed even better you know than the buy and hold of the ripple with this case you would have only one thousand three hundred dollars compared to our six thousand making it almost close 
to more than four times the beating the performance so yeah we can use for example BD, bnb as well you can see the same it's going to give very very beautiful uh, uh, result in this case close to 48,000 percent so uh, 48 thousand dollars 4.8 thousand percent profit you know from uh, in, the, in these four years solana as well we can see the same scenario but this one would have been a, a huge killer so imagine one thousand dollars you would have close to 1.2 million dollars at the end of these five years so you can see it's a huge 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 potential within this strategy and i didn't even took into account you know more filters and more accuracy inside you know i just uh, i just create these volatility indicators so yeah this is a huge powerful tool which you can have and the good thing about it you know is that you can adapt it to any type of market you can adapt it also with any type of time frame in this case for example if you would want to use a smaller time frame i would recommend in this case to use 24 hours instead of seven days and at the same time you know make some certain adaptations so yeah i would say this is the secret of how to use the the volatility if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe for more insights and leave your comments below let me know how you have used or if you are going to use the volatility indicators in your trading thank you all for watching and see you next time